And now, it gives me great pleasure to invite our guest of honour, Mr Hing Sui Kit, Singapore Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for Economics Policies, up on stage to deliver his keynote speech. DPM, please. Professor Aksha Stakpin, Chairman of Tusud, Dr Norbert Reeder, German Ambassador to Singapore, Minister of State Tan Kit Hout, ladies and gentlemen, and those of us, those of you who are joining us online, a very good morning to all of you, and a very, very early morning to Professor Aksha Stephen. You, Stephen, you have uh, joined us uh, digitally, and we appreciate your commitment to get up so early, and also your earlier work in uh, the groundbreaking uh, ceremony. And I wish your children a speedy recovery. Now, it brings me great pleasure, and as we said, a very joyous occasion, as MC put it, to be here for the inauguration of Tushut's new regional hub, uh, Tushut at IBP. Now, we're fortunate to be able to meet here today amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. In Singapore, with a tremendous effort from everyone, we have kept our situation under control. With a high vaccination rate, coupled with robust safe management measures, we are learning to live with the virus. What has been an uptick in infection cases recently, the number of seriously ill has remained low. We are now focusing on the future. Our economy is showing green shoots of recovery, with this year's growth forecast at 6 to 7%. This is due in part to continued business confidence in Singapore. Despite COVID-19, EDB attracted a record $17.2 billion in investment last year, the most since 2008. As a Global Asia note, we continue to welcome investments here. Global companies can use Singapore as a gateway to explore opportunities in Asia, and Asian companies can use Singapore as a launch pad to go global. We seek to partner more companies to contribute to our economic transformation and to find ways to help realize the growth potential of Asia, especially Southeast Asia. In Tushut, we have a trusted and long-standing partner. I'm delighted that even amidst the global economic challenges, Tushut is making significant investments here this $100 million new regional hub in the International Business Park will house more than 60 laboratories. And this labs will explore various state-of-the-art technologies as part of your global R&D efforts, which Aksa spoke about. As a first regional hub outside of Germany that Tushut designed and built from scratch, this is a vote of confidence in Singapore and the region's prospects. I look forward to this new regional hub adding to the vibrancy of Singapore's as a global business and innovation center. This latest investment is yet another milestone in Tushut's long-term partnership with Singapore. As mentioned by Ishan earlier, Tushut's presence in Singapore goes back to 2006 when you acquired the PSB Group. In 2006, I was in the Ministry of Trade and Industry and uh, we were looking at the reorganization of our economic agencies. And one decision was to spin out this because we thought at that time that the special testing function that PSB was uh, charged to with could be better done by the private sector company. And I'm glad that our decision was proven right. So that was your first significant investment in Asia and you have not looked back since. Over the years, Tushut has contributed to advancing our manufacturing sector. For example, you partner EDB to develop the Singapore Smart Industry Readiness Index, or SIRI. This world's first tool helps companies prioritize their investments in Industry 4.0 technologies. Last year, I announced that EDB is partnering the World Economic Forum, Tushut, and other companies to grow the pool of SIRI assessors. To date, more than 130 certified assessors from close to 30 different countries have been trained. 
Tushut has also supported our homegrown robotic manufacturers in safety testing and certifications that are internationally recognized. This enables them to better access global markets. Some examples include Lions Boat Cleaning Robots, which I recently had the pleasure to interact with, Synergy, Wireless Robot Charging System, and Setso's Industrial Autonomous Mobile Robot. Beyond manufacturing, Tosut has also contributed to a vibrant innovation ecosystem. For example, you have been piloting autonomous driving through the Centre of Excellence for testing and research of autonomous vehicles. You also invested $40 million into another Centre of Excellence to develop digital technologies and talent in support of Singapore's smart nation efforts. Looking ahead, as we continue to transform our economy, there will be exciting new opportunities. To capture these opportunities, we are seeking to broaden our collaborations with partners from around the world. So I'm glad that Tussut at IBP will be a launch pad for us to collaborate on new areas of growth. And hearing what uh, Professor uh, Aksa had said earlier, I must say that we are along the same track. So the first area I want to speak about is growth in digital. Industry 4.0, AI, and the Internet of Things, these are reshaping and transforming industries everywhere. The rapidly growing digital economy presents a generational opportunity to propel the world into a better future. But the digital revolution can only succeed if there is digital trust. A huge amount of data is generated daily, and we must ensure that this data are adequately protected and appropriately used. This requires us to build up digital trust capabilities. In this regard, I'm glad that Tosut has played an active role in ground-up industry-led efforts on digital trust. Together with other corporate partners, Tosut will be part of a new Digital Trust Committee commissioned by SG Tech. The committee will drive initiatives to go digital, uh, to drive initiatives on digital trust, including establishing internationally recognized standards. I hope this will contribute to the growth of digital trust in the region. To guide the committee, a separate Digital Trust Council made up of prominent business leaders will also be formed with Minister of State Tan Kiat Hao as the committee's patron. I look forward to the Digital Trust Committee's impact and to Suit's contributions. The second area of opportunity is in sustainability. The pandemic has provided a wake-up call to the world on the importance of tackling long-term, complex, global challenges. In Singapore, we have laid out our vision of a sustainable development under the Singapore Green Plan 2030. So I was happy to hear Professor Axel mentioning that Tushu's participation in the newly launched uh, Plastic Recycling Association to Singapore. In fact, I just spoke to one of the committee members yesterday. This new initiative brings together industry and academia to exchange ideas to improve plastic waste management recycling. Through efforts such as this, we can reduce the amount of waste generated. In addition, I'm glad that Tosu will be launching a sustainability as a service program to help our businesses adapt to the green economy. The program will support SMEs in meeting customer and regulatory requirements through gap analysis, training and certification. Supported by Enterprise Singapore, I hope this program will raise awareness of new concepts and drive the adoption of standards. I encourage our SMEs to tap on this new program. Yet another sustainability initiative is in the MOU between Tufsut and ComfortDelGro Engineering, which we are witnessing today. This is a partnership to upskill automotive technicians on the safe handling of high voltage systems in electric and hybrid vehicles. This will in turn set new industry standards and nurture more skilled technicians 
as Singapore ramps up EV adoption. The various partnerships that I have just highlighted show how to suit is working with stakeholders in Singapore to pursue new opportunities. This can foster greater innovation and add to the vibrancy of our industries. These partnerships also show to suit's commitment to digital and sustainability. In fact, to suit at IBP is an excellent showcase of the tremendous opportunities in digital and sustainability. As we have heard earlier, you have taken the digital building life cycle approach from design to construction and now to operations. Energy use has also been optimized with technology. Energy consumption is half of your old premises at the Science Park. And more broadly, I'm also pleased to know that Tussud is working with the Building and Construction Authority to explore the use of technologies, including AI, for digital construction monitoring and smart facility management. As we heard earlier, this building is tested and tested, so we are probably in one of the safest buildings in Singapore. <laughs> now, these initiatives will further boost our efforts in transforming the built environment sector to become more efficient and sustainable. So as we look to em emerging stronger from this crisis and positioning Singapore for long-term growth, we must find new ways to innovate incubate new ideas, and put them into action. We continue to welcome collaborations with Tussud and other like-minded industry partners as we work, to work together to ride the wave of growth and the right wave of the fourth industrial revolution in the years ahead. So let me conclude by wishing Tussud all the very best as you add another milestone in your partnership journey with Singapore. Thank you. Thank you, DPM. Did you